Are you ready for the season opener of Noah Lyles over 100 meters? Today we're looking at Tom Jones Memorial in Gainesville, Florida. Yesterday we've already seen amazing performances on this fast track. Courtney Lindsay from the US ran the world leading time over 200 meters in a new personal record of 19.88. Tarsis Aragot from Uganda also improved his 200 meter record to 19.90. Today we can be excited to see the first outdoor race of the Triple World Champion Noah Lals. After winning three gold medals at the World Championships in Budapest, he is aiming for another personal record over 100 meters. Last year he improved his personal record from 9.86 to 9.83. In his first World Championship 100 meter final, he directly won gold. This indoor season he shocked the world with such crazy times. At the New Balance Grand Prix in Boston, he won in 6.44. 7 hundredths of a second faster than his previous record. At the US National Championships he beat Christian Coleman for the first time over 60 meters by 1 hundredths of a second in 6.43. In Glasgow at the World Indoor Championships he won silver in 6.44. Christian Coleman won his second World Indoor title in 6.41. Today in Gainesville the 26 year old American track star is testing his shape. Last year he won his race here at the Tom Jones Memorial in 9.95. The field is stacked with world-class sprinters. 200 meter sprinter Joseph Fambule will also race in Florida the short sprint distance. The athlete who is representing Liberia celebrated his biggest success in his career over 200 meters when he finished 5th at the Olympic Games in Tokyo and 4th in Eugene at the World Championships. The tall athlete has a personal record over 100 meters of 9.98. He raced his time 2023 at the same meet. The American 200 meter sprinter Kenny Bednarik is also participating in Gainesville. In 2021 he raised his personal record of 100 meters in 9.89 in Eugene. Bednarik is aiming this season for another Olympic medal over 200 meters in Paris. In 2021 he finished second behind Andre de Cross in an outstanding time of 19.68. Hakim Sunny Brown has also good chances to win the race. The Japanese track star made a stunning progression in the last years. Last season he equaled his personal record over 100 meters in the semi-final at the World Championships in Budapest in 9.97. In the final he finished 6th in a solid time of 10.04. This season he already proved his amazing shape when he won his first 100 meter race in 10.02. Here you can see the full lineup for the race. Alright the athletes are ready to run, who will win over 100 meters here in Gainesville? It was a very close race in Gainesville. Noah Lyles and Kenny Bednarik ran the exact same time in 10.01. Noah was a little bit in front and took the win. Third got Curry King in 10.02. Hakim Sunny Brown finished fourth in 10.04. Joseph Fambolo raced 10.07 and placed fifth. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.